Good morning, good morning. Dr. Gary on the road. Dental practices for sale. Name of our company is Healthcare Practice Sale, LLC. And we are dental practice brokers. We've been doing this for 11 years now. I was a dentist for 25. We now have a staff of eight with 19 states that we are uh, selling practices in. And we just got back from the DICOM DSO convention. Quite a convention. We made some live uh, uh, YouTubes from there, so I hope you picked up on them. <clears throat> the information you're about to hear is for informational purposes only. It is entertainment. It is not business or legal advice. So we're open 363 days a year. We take off Christmas and Easter. And we are available to you on East Coast time from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. So just call us. We are available, and that's every single day. We just take off Christmas and Easter. We are available. Actually, the only time I don't answer the phone is when I'm swimming in the ocean or flying. <laughs> so call us. If you're a seller and you want to sell a small practice or a large practice, uh, we do have quite a program for the large practices. If you want to sell to a DSO, DSOs will pay our commission, and often we will get uh, your legal fees reimbursed at closing table certain criteria of course but uh, we'll take care of that so if you come to us you have nothing to lose everything to gain we're the only uh, brokers that I know that have a dentist and two CPA accountants on staff these aren't just uh, uh, outside uh, professionals we bring in they are on our staff we're doing this every day so anyway today's topic is going to be you must keep up your revenue and gross at least steady level up until the closing table. You can't let up. All right, before I get, this is an important topic, but before I get into this topic, you know, I deal with this all the time, it's disability. Yesterday I'm on my bicycle down at the beach and a bug goes in my eye. That's why I'm wearing glasses. So this bug goes in my eye. I can't see out of my left eye. It's like, wow. Luckily, I had a bottle of water. I flushed it out somewhat. But it was still you know, irritating me the whole night. And it's irritating me today. I mean, it just shows you how fast. And I could not see out of that eye. My eyelid closed. And I had to flush it and flush it and flush it. It just goes to say, with these disabilities, it just happens instantly. Sometimes it's the longer term, but other times, especially with accidents, it happens instantly. That's why you doctors, and I always hear the story, well, look, my father lived till 95 years old. I'm going to be fine. Like, you can predict the future, especially if accidents happen. It happens sometimes instantaneously. So, you know, when you're near retirement, you want to sometimes cash out early and just become an associate. Now you've taken your nest egg and you've, you've saved it. Anyway, let's get on to it. You know... When you have a deal, whether it's a, selling to a large DSO or to a small private, you've got to keep your revenue streams up. You can't let your guard down and think, well, I got the deal. The contracts are finished. Uh, we didn't sign them yet, but the contracts are negotiated. The price is negotiated. The buyer has negotiated the lease or is buying my real estate, whatever. And you think, well, I just I can relax. I'm going to coast right into the closing table. No. That doesn't happen. You've got to be very careful. Everybody is monitoring your books right to the closing table. Now, if it's a DSO buying it, they are checking at least the last two, three months, minimum, probably the last quarter, but they've already checked that before. But they're recalculating, everybody's recalculating and looking at your books again. They've already have all your financials from before. And that's, they did all the due diligence. And then they'll take a look again, because they'll take with these, you know, private, uh, the DSOs, you know, it's 60, 90 days or longer, sometimes more than that. So they have their initial data that they'll analyze and they'll review everything and they've have everything. And then right before closing, they're analyzing your most recent data, going back two months, three months, let's say, assuming they have everything before that three month time. If you have a dip in revenues, this is a problem. 
Don't take it for granted that everything's going to be okay. It is a problem. And also banks will do this on the private sales. Right before closing, they're checking your most recent revenues the previous month. If your revenues go down, it is all hands on deck. Why did they go on down? What's going on? Was someone sick? Did the doctor take a vacation? Uh, or was there, uh, he was working full time and all of a sudden revenues have dropped. They want to know. It's an alarm bell. So be real aware of that. You can't let your guard down going to the closing table. Stay on top of it. Keep the revenues up. It is a very big deal if the revenues drop. Believe me.